This time of year, I like to share some of my current favorites, some of the things I'm enjoying using, and just some things I've had throughout the whole year that are just pieces or items that I would like to share with you as a homemaker, a mom, and a wife. So I'm just gonna categorize them into different categories like a wardrobe, a food, and a miscellaneous. I'm gonna start off first with the food drink category. So to begin with, I am loving this white large fall mug. So it's currently in the dishwasher because my husband actually used it this morning. But it's just got some beautiful leaf design on it. I use it with my Americano in the morning or my latte in the afternoon. And it's just so fun to have a fall themed mug that I got 50 for 50 cents at an antique store. So it's just something I am enjoying. I'll probably even use it at Christmas time because you can't even really tell that it's leaves until you look closely. But it's just an enjoyable, nice large mug for those coffees to drink in the cool mornings or a latte in the afternoon. Speaking of coffee, I have been enjoying an Americano with a splash of heavy cream. So I've been using heavy cream as creamer for quite some time. We get raw milk from a local dairy and so there's often like two or three inches of heavy cream on the top of that. So I'll just spoon off that cream and put it in my coffee and it is so delicious. Nothing else needed in it. It's just a creamy deliciousness that I highly recommend. I am not one to do coffee mate creamers. I just, that, that fake sugar uh, sweetener is really hard for me to just, it leaves a bad aftertaste. So I love just the straight whole fat heavy cream with my Americano. That has been something I've been really enjoying lately. On another food point, I have been loving making muffins. So I often just use my extra sourdough starter and throw that into whatever muffin I'm making. I've been doing like the morning glory muffins with carrots, raisins, apples, and just throw some sourdough starter in there. Um, an applesauce muffin because that's more fallish and I'm sure when I use some pumpkin, I'll do some pumpkin sourdough muffins, but muffins have been a go-to lately. They're a delicious snack for my girls. I've been enjoying eating on those, but baking muffins, I often do just like little banana breads, but muffins right now, they're a go-to for me. I'll make like one batch of muffins a week, put them in the fridge or on the counter, wherever they need to be, and just snack on those with my girls for the week. All right, I'm switching to wardrobe slash like fashion here. So one thing I've really been enjoying wearing are, I'm actually wearing right now, are these stretchy pants. Now they're a little upscale from sweatpants, but when it's cooler, I want to wear a pant, but I don't want to wear a jean if I'm, you know, playing with the girls inside, if I have some errands to run. Um, so I just, I like tucking in like this mustard color shirt with these stretchy pants and they have pockets and I just am liking the denim look and how nice they look with a loafer. I shared it in my fall capsule wardrobe uh, that I put out several weeks ago or even a month ago. So you can check that out if you're interested. And some of my fashion items have my... Um, clothing items have changed from then. I've like added a few things, took a few things out, but you know, it's still been pretty warm where we're at. So some of those like heavier fall clothing, I've had to layer um, in and out with more of the shirt type, but I'm loving those pants. I, I currently actually, like I said, I have them on right now and they're just so comfortable and I don't think they look like a sweatpant. You just I wear a nice blouse or shirt tucked in and it's just a step up from a sweatpant. So I can, I got them from our local bin store for a dollar, but I think they're actually the Target brand if I remember right. Speaking of more clothing, I'm really enjoying this Old Navy denim pocketed dress again. Those pockets are so helpful as a mom and if I'm outside in the garden or something like that cleaning up. But I've been wearing this dress regularly with a sweater over it because it's still, like I said, cooler in the mornings, warm enough in the afternoons where you don't need leggings or tights yet. And so this dress has been just so comfortable, so easy to wear, and just fun to play around with the girls, go to the park, go for a stroll. It's just been a nice, comfortable dress. I did get it thrifted at Goodwill, but 
Old Navy may still have it. I'm not sure. I haven't checked to see if that's been something that has been current or if it's something from the past. But you can't go wrong with denim, especially for the fall. All right, another fashion thing. You probably noticed, I've never even mentioned it, but I did get my hair chopped this late summer. And so I've been enjoying my shorter hair. I've been styling it in some short ponies, straight, curling it. It's just been kind of a nice change. I'm enjoying having something different to do with my hair and not just always, in the summer, long hair is nice for when I'm gardening just to be able to pull it up or put it in a braid. But I wanted a different um, look. I've had my hair short, I think right after I had my oldest, so like two and a half years ago. So I just wanted something different again and just got a nice chop. Hair always grows back, so having it this short, I guess, is something that I'll have to stick with for a while till it grows, but I'm really enjoying having the shorter hair like I said I can still pull it back in a ponytail I can still do a French braid there's still some other things I can do with it as long as um, it's this like shoulder length but I'm really liking having this shorter hair and just a local hairstylist cut it so nothing fancy just a cut and then again to the fashion so I wear these scrunchy slash little um, bow hair pieces every once in a while. You've seen them in some videos. They're just kind of a fun step up from a ponytail or from even just a plain scrunchie. Like a plain scrunchie would look just like this. But I love having the little extra ribbon on it. And I just think it's a beautiful touch. I've got a pack from Amazon of six, I believe. Um, I just have three here, you know, more of the fall colors. But... I wear the black one the most as of course it goes with everything because it's neutral but they're just so fun to have and like I said just a step up from a scrunchie or from a pony and I think you can just wear them around the house wear them when you're going out and about and they are kind of in right now anyways okay that's it for fashion slash wardrobe to my miscellaneous I have been really enjoying my fall pumpkins this is just something you know, cheesy because it's fall and I like my pumpkins, but I found such beautiful, unique colored pumpkins at a local um, place where I showed a vlog for you a while back of where we went to. But like these, this brown spotted one, the like bluish tinted ones, the pink ones, they're just so different. They're not just your classic orange that I am really enjoying looking at those on my back porch, having them on my front steps, and just adding that nice welcoming cozy fall vibes that I have been wanting and not just like I said the bright orange which are beautiful too in their own way but these are just they're so different that I'm really enjoying seeing my fall pumpkins with those random colors that I found and another miscellaneous random is my all-purpose cleaner so I make just a vinegar water and a little lemon essential oil all-purpose cleaner I use it at our little cottage when I clean I use it here at our house it's just a go-to for me I just mix up a couple bottles in it's like a one cup to one cup ratio and then like 12 drops of lemon essential oil because lemon is a like a grease cutter it helps that's fresh clean scent so it's just something something that is super affordable to use I don't feel bad when my little girl my three-year-old wants to help spray things down and then she can spray that down um, and I don't have to worry about kids being or touching it it's just something I hadn't transitioned to in a while I use like the Mrs. Myers cleaners but this all-purpose cleaner is so easy to make and you just need a glass bottle or even a plastic bottle and it's just a breeze and affordable because vinegar is cheap water is cheap and then just i use young living essential oil um because that's the company i enjoy using and like but any lemon essential oil you could even leave that out and this all-purpose cleaner is so easy to use on everything so if you haven't ever switched to making your own like that i highly recommend it it just it's a cost saver you don't have to worry about those extra scents like I said we use it in our cottage when we clean because we also don't want a lot of scents in there for guests who may not like a lot of extra scents so an all-purpose cleaner is the way to go that is DIY all right and lastly this has been something very recent that I've started reading 
So this is just a study guide. It's called Mom Set Free, but oh my goodness, it has been such a good read. I am going through it with a girlfriend of mine. It's by Jeannie Cunningham, and it's just been so freeing for the mom's soul and the mom's heart. And if you are a mother and you have a women's group and you are wondering about something you can go through with them or if they need recommendations if you want to just do it yourself she also has a book this is the workbook style so um, i highly highly recommend this mom set free it's just it's just so encouraging for the moms who are struggling who aren't struggling like you know you you have those ups and down days where you feel like you're not doing things right you're not glorifying the lord in your work and so this has just been such an encouraging study and when you're feeling pressure from the world pressing pressure from social media it's definitely a really good study so i might end up even buying the book just to have to read after but that has been one of my favorites right now and i'm only on like the first week of the study in their seven weeks so definitely encourage you to look into something like this if you are a mother and needing some encouragement well friends that is all i have right now i mean i didn't do a lot there's always some things i'm always loving and using like my simple makeup routine um some of my favorite snacks and you know things like that but you know i get to share those in some of my vlogs and things like that that i do on a daily or weekly basis i should say with some of those things i currently use but i just thought it'd be fun to hop on here and say some of the things that have kind of been just a little bit higher up on the scale of things i'm loving or enjoying right now but let me know in the comments below what you are currently enjoying or that you have kept and withstood the test of time that you are always loving. But I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and we will talk to you in the next one.